All right, so take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. We're told here that we're dealing with population growth and we've got the count for a bacteria culture at 320 after one hour and then 1,000 after five hours. We want to know how many hours will take uh, the number of hours for it to reach 7,000. All right, so start with what we're given, right? We're, we know that you can model this kind of growth with an exponential formula. I like to use this one right here. It's what we see in our textbook and class that we're using. But the base of E uh, ends up being quite useful here because we, first of all, we know there's 320 after one hour. So N of T is the population after T hours, right? So it's gonna be 320. I don't know the starting population, but if I'm defining the rate of growth based on the base of E, I could find R because I know that this is after, oops, after one hour. How can I find that? Because I also know, right, N sub zero is my starting population, R is the rate based on, and then T here is the time. I also know that it's 1,000 after five hours. So R times five. And here I can look at the rate of growth as a proportion. Right, what's the scale factor essentially between these two? You do a thousand divided by 320 and it says, well, what's the scale between those? And if I'm doing that, I can also divide their corresponding equations. So it ends up being quite useful because when you divide these two, look how cool this is, right? The starting population cancels out. In other words, it's not even important. And when we divide E, uh, to the power of r times 5 divided by e to the r times 1, we're really going to get e to the 5r minus r, which is e to the 4r, right? We just subtract those exponents. And on the calculator, uh, remember, you can reduce fractions quickly. Here, divided by 320, math, fraction, boom, 25 eighths. I don't need to do that. It won't impact my calculations. It's just a little bit neater to write. So this is 25 over 8. And now we're at this point where 25 over 8 equals e to the 4r, and we take the natural log of both sides, and we get the natural log of 25 over 8 equals 4r. The natural log of e to the 4r is just 4r. So r equals the natural log, right, of 25 over 8 divided by 4 or times 1 fourth. Now, I prefer to keep going and say that this means the natural log of 25 over 8 to the 1 fourth. Remember, you can bring that exponent up, that coefficient up as an exponent with logarithms. And that's really the fourth root, right? The fourth power, the fourth root of that fraction. And that's what r equals. You know, any of these steps are mathematically equivalent. I just like how, how compact this is because now we have our rate. Now we can find other things out. What am I going to find out next? Well, I think it's going to be useful to know the starting population. How do I do that? Well, I could reference either of the given relationships here and go from there. So I'm going to use the first one. It's a little bit easier. 320 equals some starting population times e to the r. I'll leave the variable r there because I don't feel like writing the natural log out. But that's what r equals. And I don't really need that one. That's just kind of confusing me. In fact, that's why I chose this equation because it's one less thing to worry about. So e to the r. Uh, we have that exact value because we have the value of r, but we're trying to find n, n sub 0, which is the starting population. So n sub 0 is just going to be 320 divided by e to the r. Now, I'm going to leave it like that because I notice here it says do not round any values into the last step. And it might seem really unfriendly to leave it that way, but it's quite useful because now we're trying to find uh, how many hours will pass for it to reach 7,000. Well, if we're to reach 7,000, that's going to be n of t, right? We have this formula, n sub 0 times e to the rt. Well, n sub 0 is 320 over e to the r, whatever that number is, times e to the r, which is, this is r right here. Let's call it a. Let's make our life easy. And let's actually, because we can, I'll show you this in the calculator in a second. Let's call this n sub 0 b, a and b, right? Let's call this number B. 
So b times e to the a t. And we're trying to solve for t. How do we do that? Get t by itself. Divide both sides by b. 7,000 divided by b. And then that's going to equal e to the a t. Then take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of 7,000 over b. And that's going to equal a times t. But we want to know what t equals, so divide both sides by a. And I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to just erase that a and t, rewrite it. So it's 1 over a, that's dividing by a, right? Times the natural log of 7,000 over b, that's the time. OK. Let me bring the calculator over to the other side. Oops, don't want to do that. All right. So how do we do all this stuff? Well, let's go back to a, this piece right here. We're saying, I'm saying it's the natural log of the fourth root of 25 eighths. So we enter ln, and then I'm going to write um, the fourth root. I could do the fourth root, or I could do, um, I feel like it means it's easier to do the fourth power. So I'll do 25 over 8, not 88, to the 0.25 power. That's what we're dealing with. That value is our a value. So in the calculator, press store it as alpha a. Now the calculator knows when I write the letter a, it's that expression. Then let's go back over here. Uh, the, the starting population is 320 divided by e to the power of r, which is our alpha a value. So what we're saying here is about 240 bacteria at the beginning, right? So let's store that value as our B value. So store it as our B value. Enter. Now, finally, let's put it back on the other side. We are trying to deal with uh, this. Okay, so 1 divided by A. Okay, that times the natural log of 7,000 divided by B. And that's our answer, 11.831 years. Now, some of these, you know, we're, we're writing expressions for number values. This idea becomes useful as we're trying to hold on to as a precise of an answer as possible. All right, I hope that helped.